And tonight, all sections of the state, including Lee County, will deal with the terrible cold air. Temperatures falling into the 20s tonight. A hard freeze expected area wide, already below freezing at Coleman and Haleyville at 31 degrees, 36 in the Magic City, 39 in Tuscaloosa, 38 degrees in Addison, still 41 in Clanton. All these numbers will get lower tonight. Everybody goes down to freezing or below. 15 mile an hour winds at the current time in Birmingham, 13 in Tuscaloosa, 12 in Talladega. Not extremely uh, strong, but strong enough to create feel like numbers like this 24 in Haleville, 25 at Fort Payne, 27 in Birmingham, 30 in Alabaster. So if you're going out tonight for any length of time, you really have to bundle up. Gloves needed, hats needed, and so forth. 34 at 7 o'clock, down to 31 by 10. Overnight temperatures by midnight into the 20s. 25 first thing in the morning tomorrow morning. It's going to feel terribly cold outside when you first step outside in the morning. The tornadoes of yesterday, and one in particular, an EF4 in Lee County, tracked all the way through Lee County and eventually across the river into the state of Georgia. Peak winds estimated at 170 miles per hour. EF4s caused devastating damage, and we're seeing that, of course, in all the video and the pictures we're seeing. The storm tracked like this. Classic supercell thunderstorm and along this track pretty much the entire way that thing was on the ground right into Georgia. So it's a long track tornado, very typical of many of the tornadoes we see here in the southeastern states during our springtime outbreaks. First touchdown here right north of US 80, and that was about three minutes after two o'clock yesterday afternoon, and the dev devastation continued for quite some time. During tonight, a little bit of light rain down to the south, and then later on, there could be a few sleep pellets in Lee County of all places. They don't need that. Not going to cause any accumulation by any means, but just the night where they don't need to be dealing with any inclement weather whatsoever. Next couple days will feature a lot of sunshine. This is 9 p.m. on Wednesday and things looking OK, except that it will still be very cold at that point. Then some clouds come in on Friday. I think there may be some showers beyond that. The way things are timing out now it looks like another weekend with rain and storminess. And yes, once again, this is Saturday night at 10. There could be some severe weather. My seven day forecast for tomorrow then look for sunshine, but it stays cold after that bitter start a high of 46 48 on Wednesday down to 28 Wednesday night. A little better Thursday afternoon 59 degrees. We continue to warm up through the weekend, but a few showers Friday showers and thunderstorms a good bet on Saturday and a few showers may linger on Sunday as well.